One of the most common questions that we get is how do I get around blocked internet sites? Now this is probably a problem that you see if you're at school or work and you're trying to access the internet and there's some sort of draconian access policy in place. So today I'm going to show you three methods that will enable you to do this, you know, to get around them. Now the first two are easy but don't always work. The third one is guaranteed to work but it's going to take some setup time. Let's check it out. The first method we're going to try is using the IP address of the website we want to visit. This doesn't work all that often, but it is worth a shot. So first open up command prompt and ping the website that you want to visit. We're going to get the IP address here, copy it to your clipboard, and then paste it into your web browser. If you're lucky, the site you're looking for will load. The second method is to try using an anonymous web proxy. These are basically websites that access the block sites for you and sort of feed the data back through to you. A few of these that you can try are Anonymous, ZenProxy, and KProxy. All the links are posted in the info section. The drawback of this type of workaround is that oftentimes these sites themselves will be blocked or they can be very slow. And also, tons of annoying ads. Sometimes the sites will even add ads to the websites that you're going to, as you can see here. It is worth a try though, but like I said, most of these intelligent blocking applications will already have all of these programmed to be blocked as well. So we're probably going to have to go to method three. Let's give it a shot. Method three is using Tor. Now this is a surefire way to do it. If you have a flash drive laying around, it's going to be the most effective way to get around block sites. Now Tor is basically a distributed anonymous network, or if you want to get technical, it's a series of tubes. Tor is going to let you access pretty much anything on the web anonymously while getting around any restrictions that are in play. Now the developers of Tor have made this pretty easy to install now. It used to be a lot harder, but now all you have to do is get a flash drive, download the installation package, which I put a link to in the more info section, extract all the contents, and then dump them onto your flash drive like you can see I'm doing here. Once you have all that copied over, all you gotta do is run the Start to Tor Browser button. It's gonna load a little panel up. This is gonna initiate all the software and get you hooked up to the network. And when that's done, Firefox should automatically load directly from your flash drive. Now you notice there is a bottom right hand button that says Tor Disabled. Now we're gonna turn that on. Once we turn on that button, it's going to allow us to sort of break through the barriers that are blocking us and go to any website we want. Now you don't have to use this on a flash drive, but if you want to be able to get through block sites anywhere you are, it's good to have one on your key ring. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you like this, subscribe for more and we'll see you next time.